Hello all and welcome to Code Utility. Today we are going to look at how to start with Jetpack Compose in Android. To start with you need to download Canary version of Android Studio. Let's create a new project. Select the empty Compose activity to start with. Give a project name and we are going to do the project using Kotlin. Android Studio provides with this default template for Jetpack Compose with a classic, Hello Android, example. Let's remove this greeting method and use our own method app content. The important thing is to mark the function with composable annotation, which let the Android system know that this function is a composable function. Now let's move this code from set content into app content method and start with our coding. Important note about Jetpack Compose we should use any theme as root layout for our design. Here we have Jetpack Compose theme as root theme. Let's remove this greeting method and we will remove the parameter from app content method. Before getting started let's look at our Gradle files of the project. In app Gradle file these are the dependencies for Jetpack Compose. We are using 1.3.70 version of Kotlin compiler. And in our main project level Gradle file, we have Compose version as 0.1.0-DEV13 which is not the latest version at this time. The current latest version is 16 but we will use 13 as it is stable version. Let's look at our design. We are going to first to the top toolbar. Let's wrap everything under column function in Jetpack Compose which works like linear layout with vertical orientation. App bar in Jetpack Compose can be defined using top app bar function. This function takes a parameter called title. Inside this title parameter we can define our text view using the special compose function. Then we will define the title text of our app bar. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Let's define a new composable function called card content. This will hold the entire content of our card. Let's annotate the function with that composable. Let's wrap all the content with card composable function. Then we can define our modifier. Modifier is like the properties of a view in XML file. Here we can define this layout's width, height, padding etc.
Inside we will have a column holder. Then we define modifier for our column. Fill max width. Wrap content height. Inside we will have a column holder. Then we define modifier for our column. Fill max width. Wrap content height. Then we define our box special compose function. This works like a container. We can compare this with view group in XML file. Now we will define background color for our box. This box section is the image holder section. We are not going to use any image here, instead we will show a placeholder color of light gray. Let's define modifiers for our box. We will give width as filmax width, height as 100 dp and make it clickable. We will not implement click functionality here. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Let's define another box. This box will hold the rating and TV show genre. Let's provide modifiers for this box also. Let's define another column inside this box. This column will have rating and genre aligned vertically. Let's define text compose function for title section. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Let's define a spacer compose function, this can be used as a separator between views. Let's define text compose function for rating section. Let's define a text for genre section. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Let's define another text for description section. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Now we separate the next section from this section using a divider. We will define start, end, top and bottom paddings. Let's rebuild the project and see the result.
Let's prepare the layout for next section. We will add a box section and inside that we will add a column compose function. This column will hold a text with title as show timings. define a horizontal scroller. This scroller will have the timings of the show in a horizontal scrollable view. This is similar to a recycler view functionality as adapter list of compose use this internally. But this cannot be used if we have a large set of data. Change our card content function. Let's add an parameter which is of type list of string. Now let's scroll back to app content and define our data. Here we will keep it simple this data will be list of timings for our favorite show, The Big Bang Theory. Now inside our scroller we will loop through our data and create timing cards. Let's define our timing text layout. This text layout will have text property defined from our data that we created and passed to this composable. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. Find a spacer before our last section. And finally we will add a button compose function. And add clickable param but we will not define it. We will pass text as composable to this button. We define text as set reminder. Let's rebuild the project and see the result. We have finished our small layout using the new Jetpack Compose in Android. This is still in developer preview. So, we can expect more functionality in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe the channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.